a colocação que ele pôs, que ele falou sobre o, a aplicação do Tai Chi na vida, né? é importante entender que realmente no mundo da ciência hoje, isto já está sendo estudado em detalhes. Então existem inúmeros, centenas, talvez milhares hoje já de artigos científicos que trazem a... Uh, estudos a respeito dos benefícios do Tai Chi que vão além da questão apenas como um exercício físico. Especialmente, eh, ele é colocado neste ambiente como uma atividade mente-corpo, que hoje chama-se prática integrativa, que entrega, integra o corpo e a mente nos dois eh, aspectos de uma maneira equilibrada. E o nosso Tai Chi ele é considerado uma prática desta dentro do mundo da ciência. Né? Então, é, a, a minha pergunta uh, para ele, obviamente, dentro deste ambiente, né, é, o que, que ele considera uh, uh, válido de ser desenvolvido como artigos científicos, uh, como que ele orientaria uh, médicos, psicólogos, uh, terapeutas, né? para estar tá, um, aprofundando melhor os seus estudos eh, relativos à aplicação do Tai Chi na vida, né, como ele mesmo coloca. É importante, uh, vamos dizer assim, informá-lo a respeito disso, né, que isso está ocorrendo, e ao mesmo tempo, se ele pode dar alguma visão uh, para que novos estudos sejam desenvolvidos de acordo com a própria experiência pessoal dele dentro do projeto. Uh, so, uh, our uh, guest here tonight, uh, Angela Saucy, is uh, sharing with us uh, her opinion and also this general information she collected that uh, nowadays, uh, surely we have several uh, articles, papers uh, published uh, con uh, connecting these uh, uh, studies about how Tai Chi Chuan Uh, is being uh, verified into uh, several kinds of uh, scientific studies on this uh, relationship between uh, the body, the mind, and how we can uh, use Tai Chi Chuan in our daily lives in several activities, as the master was uh, telling us. And uh, she would like to ask the master, uh, what is his uh, opinion Uh, about these uh, scientific uh, works that uh, he may be aware of, and also uh, what is the direction and how he, he thinks uh, he could uh, point us away or uh, guide us to uh, keep exploring this very interesting area on uh, application, on how to use Tai Chi Chuan in our daily lives, if he could uh, point us uh, away on how to uh, keep studying this area. Uh, the Tai Chi Chuan is an uh, uh, art founded a long, long time ago. We actually don't really have exactly the clear, uh, you know, proof for when is Tai Chi Chuan founded. Some research say, uh, you know, I mean, they said this is, uh, um, you know, around the uh, end of the Ming Dynasty, uh, you know, because we have the book, Tai Chi Chuan Treaty, are founded and in the end of the Ming Dynasty. But also, you know, some of the story says this is, this art is founded by uh, Zhang Sanfeng, which is uh, uh, in end of the Song Dynasty and the beginning of the Yuan Dynasty. So which is a, a pretty big uh, gap. We have uh, no approved uh, in cleared answer for this yet, which is uh, just want to say uh, the art uh, has a long history. At that time, the to or understanding with mod modern scientists this area are not there yet people are just based on what they understand to have the explanation in there and certainly 
you know, for example, like Chinese medicine, those are founded by thousand years ago. Uh, I mean, thousands of years ago. And I believe many, uh, you know, a group before we have a modern medical treatment, uh, this method, they all have some kind of a treatment uh, used different way by different experience for treating the people's illness. So uh, I, I should say, uh, Taiji Chuan, this area, if we talked about from scientists in this direction, I would say this is a one area uh, because this art are very old. Uh, we don't really have a lot of this kind of research, you know, to uh, detailed down to a uh, element this direction of the improvement with Tai Chi Chuan. But Tai Chi Chuan has a different, uh, I mean, following the long time, it has been approved by experience. This is a good art and can help people from many directions, mentally, physically, uh, you know, uh, related with their health, even with uh, art itself from the fighting direction. But in here, we are not talking about the like a fighting technique. Uh, uh, I should say, uh, the modern time, let's say a modern medicine, this area, this, uh, because they can adapting the tools from today, they can down to what is the, uh, what is your body uh, in which area has uh, missing on which kind of element or whatever the things you are not in enough or too much can cost what kind of a reason for you have this kind of illness? For example, like uh, you have too much blood sugar, then you become a diabetes. And this was no way for in, future, uh, in the past, they don't have this kind of examination to seeking this kind of, uh, you know, uh, reason or idea uh, to finding what's caused this kind of issue. but. Uh, the other hand, uh, they also have the big picture, the big direction. For example, uh, we understand everything, if it's balanced, then you are remaining subtle, which means health. The balance is essential. If you're too much, you know, on anything that can cost off of the balance. So to remaining the balance actually is essential idea. So that's why, you know, I, I see, yes, in the modern time, we do need more research to finding the reason why Tai Chi Chuan can help people's health. But on the other hand, in the modern medicine, this area, they already have a lot of the proof or, you know, a method to cure the illness. So related in this area, I will say, uh, the art of the Tai Chi Chuan can help you from which direction. Uh, I think one area is to helping you to prevent you be get ill, which is through the, uh, you know, exercise, daily practice to remaining your physical body remaining the balance to remaining the health. This is one area Tai Chi Chuan, uh, we understand from experience, from proof, they can help. And uh, to cure the illness, I think use the modern medicine, this would be a best because uh, they are down to uh, use the modern tools uh, to finding what's the reason to cure the illness. I think this is uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of fishing. And uh, then, you know, lots of the illness, not just you take a pill, take a surgery, they can fix you. They also involved with the recovery, how you remaining health. I also think, you know, Tai Chi Chuan can help you for recovering and to remaining in the house. I would say, uh, 
combined with modern technology, Tai Chi Chuan can use for prevent you become ill. But also Tai Chi Chuan can help you to prevent, I mean, not, I mean, prevent, uh, remaining in the house, prevent the illness. Then, you know, Tai Chi Chuan is also can help you to recover from some of the illness. I think this will be, a, a, you know, a position for the Tai Chi Chuan, this area. And uh, uh, the health is a major directions for Tai Chi Chuan's, uh, you know, uh, a purpose. And uh, if people who are looking for the classic about the certain postures, uh, you know, explanation, uh, you know, I mean, explanation of the Tai Chi Chuan, there is a, a poem says, and uh, we're seeking deeply on what is the purpose for the Tai Chi Chuan and uh, to improve the people's health, wellness, and extend it to people's life as never end the spring, uh, uh, spring, uh, you know, uh, like spring well, this is the purpose. So that is about the, you know, Tai Chi Chuan's, uh, you know, from modern life, based the, uh, you know, Tai Chi Chuan, how we can beneficial together to the people. Eu gostaria de aproveitar essa resposta do mestre. É, recentemente eu estava analisando alguns estudos dos benefícios do, do Tai Chi e tem um estudo que foi feito há uh, uns dois, três anos atrás, que é um mapa de evidências dos benefícios do Tai Chi para a saúde. E um dos pesquisadores, ele observou que na última década, mais que dobraram os estudos é, comprovando né, os benefícios do Tai Chi, né, em várias áreas, benefícios para o corpo, para a mente, a nível físico, emocional... Então, na última década, mais que dobraram os estudos. E, então, nós sabemos né, de muitos benefícios e a ciência está comprovando, assim como vários mestres e praticantes do passado. E para obter esses benefícios, é necessário praticar, né, ter disciplina, ter o esforço, a dedicação. Então, eu gostaria de perguntar para o mestre, é, de acordo com a experiência dele, o que é necessário, né, quais são as orientações para que um praticante consiga né, adquirir essa disciplina, esse hábito e, consequentemente, né, obter aí muitos benefícios com a prática? Porque a gente nota que muitas pessoas, às vezes, começam a praticar e depois param, né, porque é uma arte que necessita paciência, disciplina, esforço. Então, qual que é a orientação dele nesse sentido? Uh, our uh, guest here tonight, uh, Fernando de Lazari, is uh, emphasizing how uh, recently, in the past uh, years, the studies uh, about uh, the scientific community uh, researching about uh, the benefits of Tai Chi Chuan has, uh, have increased a lot. Uh, they, they have, uh, even according to some uh, paper he read, Uh, double in the past few years, according to the, the, the previous ones. So uh, everyone knows, we are uh, here discussing also about it, that Tai Chi Chuan is very good for our health and it good benefits for everyone. But his question is, uh, considering many practitioners start Tai Chi Chuan, but they... Uh, end up giving up the practice because require uh, too, too much uh, discipline, effort. So uh, Fernando is asking the master, uh, what do we need to develop this uh, discipline to keep practicing and to keep developing our uh, Tai Chi Chuan practice? Well, uh... This is uh, uh, quite, uh, I would say, uh, uh, 
uh, often seen the situation, uh, you know, in here. So uh, I don't want to see Tai Chi Chuan is uh, uh, perfect for everybody. They are always uh, 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 related with the personality. Uh, some arts can fit with, you know, this kind of people or, you know, uh, it may not. So generally speaking, uh, Taiji Chuan has uh, quite a challenging at the beginning. Uh, it is because uh, it has a lots of, lots of the movements you need to learn. And at the same time, not just a movement sequence, there is also involved with the method, like a principles, how you should do to demonstrate your physical. And this kind of for uh, uh, you know, requirements pull into the beginners at the beginning. Uh, it's quite challenging for people to, you know, to learn visit. I would say this can be, uh, uh, you know, kind of the reason uh, somehow blocked many people uh, cannot continue with this art or ended up they quit during their study. Uh, I think uh, the method is uh, important. Uh, in past, I should say that they don't really have this much issue. Uh, it is because uh, there is a fewer people are learning the art, much fewer than today. And also people in the past I mean, I talked about in the past, mostly in China, uh, they actually have a clear the direction, uh, you know, if they are succeed, what is the direction or what is the future they can see from them. Uh, I would like to say in future, if you're learning on martial arts are not just for a uh, health benefit, it is because also in future can help you to get into a certain uh, position. For example, uh, in China, we had uh, these two systems. One is uh, examination for scholar, for people who are good writing and knowledge on, you know, uh, like uh, technology, this site. Uh, this is one area they have the examination and the other site of the examination is a military site. So which is uh, how you can become to a general. You have to also learn, uh, you know, how to be a fight on the bar, uh, in the battle. And also the uh, skill, not only for the battle fighting and the skill of how organize the troops and using a strategy. This is the other side of the examination. And many people, they actually need join the visa, the other side of the, uh, let's say a government system, which is they need to have a fighting skills uh, in there. So Tai Chi Chuan, they are simply is one of the martial arts purpose art. So that's why they can make this effort and continue learning and uh, improve themselves because they see if they succeed, then what is the future for them? Then today it's different because of the martial arts purpose are not seeing as the future's uh, position taking. This kind of purpose are more like a hobby uh, or more like, uh, you know, uh, interesting in there. And uh, uh, also uh, if, uh, People are use of uh, you know Tai Chi Chuan for housing exercise. There are more choice than Tai Chi Chuan today. So I would say this is the kind of situations we are facing from Tai Chi Chuan this art. Uh, then uh, how can we do to be more helping people learning? Uh, I would say the teaching method is quite important. Uh, that's also the reason today, even we're saying Yang Chengfu is the model of the Yang family Tai Chi Chuan, 
his long traditional form is the root of the Yang family Tai Chi Chuan, but still we following different purpose. We create a different kind of sequence or practice method. Uh, for example, we have a wellness exercise being, you know, created. We also been created a senior practice this area, and we even have an essential sort of short form for different purpose in practice. So these are you know all kind of a method try to fit what is today's people's a purpose. Uh, you know. To remaining people can learn, and uh, again, you know, uh, what we should taking the directions for today is uh, make people are joined practice Tai Chi Chuan are more enjoyed, not only facing a challenging or facing a difficulty, and uh, uh, simply this. Would be a not easy to spreading this art if we are taking on challenging, uh, taking on difficulty. This direction, uh, I I would say this this kind of uh, difficulty are really a kind of an issue. Make people are feel hard to, you know, continue with this art. Uh, I mean. All this is just my personal understanding.、Uh, maybe you know,、uh, different people they also can have a different reason in there. Pergunta agora é sobre a Associação Internacional de Tai Chi que foi criada no final dos anos noventa e agora está、uh, se expandindo mais com a inauguração. da nova filial brasileira. Como o senhor vê essa expansão mundial da associação e também qual, qual como como vê a participação do Brasil da filial brasileira é, nesse crescimento? Uh, so uh, our hostess uh, Ana Horta is asking the master、uh, since the the creation of the international association in the nineties. Uh, now we are expanding worldwide,、uh, reaching this、uh, first branch, which will be、uh, launched in November in Ribeirão Preto, São Paulo, here in Brazil.、Uh, and she is asking the master,、uh, how do you see this、uh, worldwide expansion? What are your expectations for this、uh, branch in Brazil? Uh, the funding of the international association, actually,、uh, as what I mentioned before, in older time, there is a, a way to do it, more like a family running things, you know, running the business. But right now, we are in the modern time. We are gradually shift into a more associate, public, with people together.、Uh, we do things together. And uh, uh, you know, through the international association, we,、uh, you know, I should say we are very well supported by many nations, many Tai Chi practitioners, and as we are running a school, instructors, centers in many different nations,、uh, you know,、uh, Brazil is one of the nation、uh, really very well, you know, developing. For the young family Tai Chi Chuan in there, and uh, uh, that is、uh, coming up today. We feel, you know,、uh, Brazil is really building up a good foundation there. They have a lot people,、uh, you know, participate for the young family Tai Chi, and、uh, also this is what we think. You know,、uh, the best the people. To you know, management, organize the development is the people who are local, and also people who are understand their own culture.、Uh, this is、uh, what we you know feel, and this is also the direction in future for our association to take. And uh, uh, at the same time, you know, 
we establish the branch in Brazil, we also feel, uh, you know, through this, uh, you know, organization we are building it, we can involve more people to, uh, you know, contribute their energy, their, you know, uh, help for developing uh, in their local, in their local, and in their nation. So this is, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, more beneficial for everybody. And uh, as well, uh, this is my personal feeling. I feel uh, generous speaking, we're saying, you know, many people love Tai Chi. They like to participate, to be, uh, you know, uh, one of the, you know, participants uh, practice Tai Chi for their daily life. Uh, but I feel in Brazil is one step, you know, ahead or one, one level up. They are not just uh, try to knowing this knowledge, like to know the knowledge. They actually enjoy it, you know, with the Tai Chi Chinese art. So that is the different level uh, we see. So which is uh, uh, with this, you know, branch established, uh, I will say that will help more people uh, in there. And uh, my expectation uh, is uh, we can establish the branch and the root in Brazil and also uh, uh, for good teamwork together uh, we can spread in Young Family Tai Chi more and the building a good foundation and uh, to make this branch as a most recognized organization for the Young Family Tai Chi Chuan in Brazil. Eu queria agradecer muito a presença e a disponibilidade do mestre Yan Jun de conversar aqui conosco. Ver se ele tem alguma frase final para terminar essa entrevista, mas desde já a gente já agradece. Eu agradeço, nós todos agradecemos a, a, a presença do mestre Yan Jun aqui conosco. Uh, so, we would like to thank everyone who is here watching us and special thanks to Master Yan Jun to be here with us in this interview. And uh, we would like to extend one last question. If he would like to say some uh, final comments, final words. Uh, so uh, please, Master, if you would like to say anything else, uh, it's up to you. Uh, I also want to uh, stressing, I mean, stressing the thanks for everyone who are watching. If you are a Taiji Chuan a practitioner, uh, I will say you are the one already received the beneficial from a Taiji Chuan's a practice. Uh, to me, uh, uh, introduce Taiji Chuan this art to more people and leading them uh, join with us. This will be beneficial more people, and uh, uh, for people who are. Uh, never experienced the visit Tai Chi Chuan. Uh, I will say Tai Chi Chuan is uh, art. Use the body to demonstration the Oriental culture, and uh, it uh, belong to a martial arts. But actually, they are cultivated your uh, mind, heart, and also uh, with your physical. At the same time, uh, I I hope you can join us, and uh, one day we can meet each other in person. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>